Welcome everybody to another episode of Let's Make Dinner, your audio library of amazing dinner recipes you can always get on the table. I'm your host, Susie Weinrich. Today we are going to make a wonderful side dish that you're absolutely going to love. My little picky kids love this side dish and they request it all the time. Usually at the beginning of the week, I'll try to ask them, you know, what's one item you want to have for dinner this week so we can avoid tears at dinner time. And these crispy cast iron skillet potatoes are one of the number one requested items on our table. They are super easy to make. And anytime you have a main dish that calls for a potato side dish, these can sit in perfectly instead of having to go through all of the work of making like a cheesy potato casserole or mashed potatoes or potato salad. These crispy oven potatoes are perfect. This is actually going to be a really quick episode, so not many tips and tricks. The only thing I'll tell you is that number one, you do need a cast iron skillet to make this recipe. And number two, you definitely want to find the really tiny potatoes. They may even be called tiny potatoes at the grocery store. They're going to be smaller than a ping pong ball. Maybe, you know, maybe actually the size of a ping pong ball and smaller is what I'll say. And then that is what allows them to get super crispy and creamy on the inside while they cook in the oven. You're going to love them. So let's go ahead and just get into the full recipe for these little crispy oven potatoes. So you need about one pound of tiny Yukon Gold potatoes, three tablespoons of olive oil or extra virgin olive oil, three quarters teaspoon of kosher salt, and one teaspoon of dried oregano. You're going to preheat your oven to about 425 degrees, cut all of the potatoes in half, and then in the bottom of a large cast iron skillet, probably like a 10 or a 12 inch cast iron skillet, you're gonna pour two tablespoons of that oil across the bottom of the cast iron skillet, coating the whole surface. Then you'll sprinkle in a half a teaspoon of the kosher salt and a whole teaspoon of dried oregano. You'll place those cut potatoes cut side down into the oil making sure that all of the potatoes are touching the surface of the skillet. Then you'll drizzle the remaining oil, you should have about one tablespoon left of oil, over the top of the potatoes and sprinkle with the remaining quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. You're going to roast them in that hot oven for at least 30 to 35 minutes. And then at the end of that time, pull that cast iron skillet out and double check a couple of the potatoes on the bottom to make sure that they are crispy. And I don't mean like they look a little golden brown. They should be crispy like a potato chip crispy. You are going to love them. So if they don't look super duper golden brown, pop them back in the oven for about another five minutes. And these suckers are going to be hot when they are ready. So let them cool for probably about 10 minutes and then you can go ahead and serve them. They are creamy and buttery on the inside and the outside is literally crispy like a potato chip. Like I said before, this is a side dish that goes with just about anything that requires a potato side dish. We love them with like roasted chicken, maybe a rotisserie chicken, grilled burgers, grilled chicken, um, meatloaf, barbecue meatballs, ham balls, just about anything. So I really hope you make these. And if you really, really love them, I would love to have you give the recipe five stars and leave a little comment about what you served these little potatoes with. As always, I will link all of the recipes I talked about in the show notes for you so you can go and check it out, cook with the recipe, pin it, save it, share it, whatever you want to do. So until next time, I hope this episode of Let's Make Dinner makes your dinner time a little easier. See ya! All right, guys, now it's time for your double dip, and I'm so excited for this. So every week when you listen to the new podcast episode on Thursday, you can always stick around for the end of the episode where I go over the ingredients you need to make the recipe for next week. So next week, we have a fun little recipe that I think is great for the end of summer. It's easy to make, and it's so, so delicious. 
This is a newer recipe on Mom's Dinner, the website where I share all of my recipes that I go over here on the podcast. We are having tilapia fish tacos next week, and you are going to love these. Tilapia is great. It is really economical, and it cooks up super fast. So what you're going to need for these tilapia fish tacos is one and a half pounds of tilapia fillets, salt and pepper, olive oil, a couple limes, garlic cloves, chili powder, ground cumin, smoked paprika, and cayenne pepper. Now, of course, you want to have anything you want to have with your tacos. So um, like either flour shells or corn shells. Um, We like to do a little bit of angel hair slaw on the bottom. And then we do a chipotle lime crema that gets drizzled over top. And let me tell you what you need for that. Some mayonnaise, sour cream, some more lime juice, you need a can of chipotle chili. This is always it, this is always a tongue tie for me. Chipotle chilies in adobo sauce. So just one can, garlic and milk. So I hope you'll join me next week when we make these tilapia fish tacos.